Hello, welcome to Mushabbar. Today we are going to discuss about how can you get a Swedish residence permit on the basis of marriage or a serious relationship with someone who is already living in Sweden. Remember that from the Swedish law perspective, you do not even need to have a formal registered marriage. You can live with someone without a formal registered marriage. And also, there are two other cases. Case number one is if you have already married with someone or if you have already a serious relationship with someone who is living in Sweden and you want to move to Sweden on that basis. And the case number two is you have not yet married, but you have a planning to marry in, in the future or you have a plan to live together in the future. In both of these cases, the requirements to get a Swedish residence permit is similar, is same, is more or less identical. There is no difference. The only thing is that you have to prove that you are serious, the relationship is serious, and the planning is uh, real, and uh, you really want to move to Sweden because you want to live with someone. It's not something fake, so it's a genuine case. That is the main point. So what are the requirements to get a Swedish residence permit in these cases? I am the first ever international master's student from Pakistan to Sweden. In 1996, I joined Chalmers University of Technology in Gothenburg. People have been saying that uh, it's not easy to get a Swedish residence permit on the basis of marriage or living together. Uh, some people have even got uh, their application rejected. And there are a lot of complaints about this one. But when I looked into the rules and regulations, everything is very crystal clear. It is transparent. It is not complicated at all. Uh, it looks very straightforward case. Everything really looks very simple and I see there is no way that the Swedish Migration Agency will refuse your application if it's a genuine case and if you meet all the requirements. And there are not many requirements. It's a simple common sense requirements. So I don't know why people are complaining. So what are those requirements? Your partner who is already living in Sweden, he should be either a Swedish national or he should have a Swedish permanent residence. So that is requirement number one and the most important requ requirement. But also there are exceptions. The exception is that uh, if someone is living in Sweden on the basis of asylum, then even the temporary residence permit may work. And also there is another exception. And that is if someone is living in Sweden on the basis of Swedish protective directory, in extraordinary circumstances such as for example in the case of ukraine so in those cases also the temporary residence permit may work but in most cases the person or your partner who is living in sweden he should already have a swedish nationality or a permanent resident permit so in both of these cases things will become very simple and crystal clear and then also this person or your partner who is living in Sweden, he should have a good job. He should have income that is good enough to afford your living. He should be able to pay your maintenance cost. And when I estimate, uh, he should have an income of about 20,000 or 21,000 Swedish sec per month. So this is not much money. This is uh, according to the Swedish standard, it's very small money. If you have a normal job in Sweden, you can probably earn more than 30,000 Swedish krona. So this is also not a very strong requirement. It's, uh, it makes sense. This amount, 20,000 or 21,000, I have estimated based on if you are coming to Sweden alone, if you don't have children. If you have children, either your children, 
together with your partner or maybe your ex-partner. In both of these cases, you also have to consider the cost of living of the whole family. So then the income should be more than 20,000 krona, depending on how big or small is your family. Number two, he should also be able to have a place to live with you. So he should have an accommodation. He does not need to own a house or a flat. He can have a rental agreement, but he should have a good place to live, a place where two people can live. Or if you are coming with family, with kids, then a whole family should be able to live. So these are the basic three requirements. Either he should have Swedish nationality or he should have a permanent Swedish residency. They are exceptional cases when a temporary residence permit may work. Number two, he should have a good job. Number three, he should have a place to live. If these three requirements are fulfilled, then there is no way Swedish Migration Agency is going to reject your case. The case has to be genuine and there should not be any criminal history. I was really surprised to see that the Swedish Migration Agency don't even require that you should have a serious relationship in advance. You can plan for the future. You can plan your relationship for the future. But the only thing is that you should be serious in your case and it should not be a fake case. So there's a lot of flexibility. You don't have to have a marriage in advance. You can have a marriage in the future. I wanted to make this very clear because some people are complaining that things have become very tough or complicated. There's no complication. It's crystal clear. Probably the people who are applying on the basis of marriage, they don't fulfill the basic requirements or maybe um, it's a fake case. So that's why maybe they are getting rejections. If there is a genuine case, I don't see that there is a possibility for the Swedish Migration Agency to reject your case, at least right now. The laws may change in the future. There are few more things to remember. You have to apply for your residence permit from outside Sweden, in your home country or wherever you are living legally. There are though some exceptional cases that gives you the possibility to apply from Sweden as well. For example, if you are pregnant, if you are already pregnant or expecting a child, then there is a possibility that you can apply for a residence permit on the basis of marriage or a serious relationship from Sweden. And also there are some more exceptions. For example, if you are already living in Sweden on the basis of work or on the basis of, uh, for example, study, you already have a Swedish residence permit on the basis of work or study, then there is a possibility that you can apply from Sweden, from inside Sweden. But in normal circumstances, even if you are in Sweden on, for example, on a tourist visa or on a temporary visa or on a business trip, you have to go back to your home country. So ideally, you have to apply from your home country or wherever you are legally registered or residing from that country, you should apply. That is the best case, but there are exceptions, as I mentioned. To be clear about these things, Let's look at the official Swedish Migration Agency website. Here is the website. So this is the official website of the Swedish Migration Agency. You have to come here, apply for, and then permit for moving to someone in Sweden. So this is the case that we are talking about. So here you can see you have two headings here. If you are already married or cohabiting partner of someone who is already living in Sweden or if you plan to marry or to become the cohabiting partner of someone who is already living in Sweden. In both of these cases, the requirements are same and they are very simple and they are identical requirements basically. So let's look at this first. So if you have already been married or if you are already living or have a serious relationship with someone who is a permanent Swedish resident or who is a Swedish national, then this is the steps that you need to take. You can apply 
online or you can apply with pen and paper also it is very important to know that someone from sweden can apply on your behalf it is your application but your partner from sweden or even someone else from sweden can also apply on your behalf but you have to give a written statement a written consent that they are allowed to talk on your behalf and these are the steps you need to take when you are going to fill the application you have to attach all the necessary documents these are the basic things i don't need to dig into these things they are so simple uh, you can read about them but these are basically copies of your passports you need to prove that uh, you have already married or have a serious relationship you can also you also need to prove that you have been living with him in the past if you are living with him in the past for example in your home country and then there are several ways to prove that you need to show the evidence the evidence could be the extract from the population registration in your home country it could be that you both have bought together a flat or you have a rental agreement so whatever is the proof you have to provide that if some children are coming with you you have to provide information about the children and in case these children are with someone else then you need permission from that person that you can take your children with you so you have to read all these things they are these are basic things and then you have to pay the fee whatever is the application fee you can look at the fees uh, at this link once you have submitted your application the swedish migration agency is going to send an email to your partner in sweden who is already living in sweden and he has to answer to the questions within 14 days and during that time you also need to book an appointment with the embassy in your home country or whatever is the nearest embassy or consulate that is applicable in your case you have to give an interview at the embassy and when everything is done the swedish migration agency will uh, process your application and if your case is genuine they are going to give you the residence permit i don't see any complexities here this is simple crystal clear so i don't know why people are complaining maybe they are fake cases or maybe they are not filling the application properly it's a straightforward case there is no complications and there is a queue system i can look later on how much time it may take to process this case but things are crystal clear whatever time is needed they will take and then they will process your application and if there is a genuine case i don't see uh, what's the problem and also if you want to look at the case that uh, you have not yet married but you want to marry in future or you want to have a relationship in future so in those cases the requirements are more or less same so if you are unmarried you have to attach the proof of your unmarriage or whatever and you have to also prove that uh, you you are serious whatever the proof you can give uh, the main point is that the case should be genuine the same requirements are about children that you have read previously so everything is same we don't need to dig deeper into this one you can look into that otherwise the video will become a bit longer so if you want to get a swedish residence permit on the basis of living together with someone who is already living in sweden these are the requirements you have to follow you have to read this you have to read this line by line and it's not many pages to read it's very simple crystal clear follow the instructions and just apply online and hopefully you will get a positive answer so that is all for today if you have any question please uh, write your question in the comment section under this video and i will come back with the answer if i have missed something you can please let me know and i will cover those things in the future i am trying to think if i have missed something because this is so simple so crystal clear i don't want to spend more time on this unless uh, you have questions so if you have question write your question and i will come back uh, with the answers
and uh, hopefully you will also find answers to all of your questions from the Swedish Migrations Worker website. So thank you to all of you. Goodbye. If you like this video, please share this video to the whole world. Spread this video everywhere. We are confident that this channel is going to have a huge impact. This channel is going to change some of the lives of the people. So please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and stay tuned. Thank you to all of you. Goodbye.